Hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary, and today's video is going to be the DNF tag. So, as per usual, no one tagged me to do this. I just thought it sounded fun. Um, and I needed something kind of quick to film. I'm trying to pre-film a bunch of videos so that I have stuff to go up when I'm moving. So that's what I'm doing right now. But... Uh, this tag is originally from Gunpowder Fiction and Plot. I will link their channel and their original tag video down below. And now I'm just going to hop into the questions. So the first question is, do you DNF? And the answer is yes, but I definitely should DNF more. I've definitely finished many a book being like, maybe it'll get better. Um, and then given it one star. So if you like see my April wrap up, there were two books in that that I wanted to DNF. Didn't DNF and ended up giving one stars, which is my rating for I should have DNF'd this. <laughs> The second question is, if you DNF a book, does it count towards books read for the month? And I don't count them towards books read for the month. I do like to mention when I DNF stuff, um, but often, so for me, I will count the pages towards my like total page count, but I won't count the books, if that makes sense. Last year I did count them, um, but now I figured out a way to make a separate shelf on my Goodreads. So I have a separate shelf that's like an exclusive shelf. So there's like the want to read, um, currently reading in red or whatever, that are like the three shelves that if you put a book anywhere, it has to also be on one of those shelves. I made a separate shelf that's exclusive to where things can be on that shelf and not on any others. Um, and I called it my DNF shelf. So I have books there now. The third question is, is there a difference between a DNF and just putting it down for a bit? And for me, there is, but I put them both on the same shelf if I marked them on <laughs> it's currently reading. Um, so like, I put down Middlemarch by... Mm, I know a lot of things, but I don't know about that. I'm not sure why. George Eliot. <laughs> I couldn't remember who that was by for a second. I was doing that as part of a buddy read with Kira Foster, Mary Among Stories, and then like they did a buddy, like a group buddy read with a bunch of people with a Discord and stuff. And I just felt so far behind, had so many other things that I would rather read. So I dean after that book, but I'm like, I'm not opposed to finishing it. I'm not gonna read it anymore, but like if I get the audiobook back, I'll probably listen to it. Because I would like to finish it, but I have moved it to my DNF shelf just because like otherwise it was just staring at me from my currently reading shelf. But typically that's I think that's the only book I've really done that with. Usually if I DNF a book, I'm not picking it up again. And I, I'm not the type of person who usually reads part of a book is like, oh, I would like to read this at a different time and then puts it down to pick something else up. But that's usually not what I do. Um, unless it's like, for this was like an obligation read. That's the only reason that I put it down and then am planning on picking it back up, if that makes sense. I don't know if that does make sense, but th I, there is a difference to me, but sometimes I treat them the same. <laughs> And then the fourth question is, what popular book did you DNF? I just mentioned Middlemarch. A lot of people really like that book. I thought it was boring. I read half of it and was like, I'll come back to this later if I have time. Uh, actually, what happened is my hold or my library book expired because I had the, e the audiobook. Um, I also have it on my Kindle, so I could have kept reading it, but I didn't want to. So <laughs> there you go. There are a couple more popular books that I should have DNF'd that I'm now planning on unhauling. So I have Wolf Hall right here, actually. I should have DNF'd this because I hated it so much. I didn't hate it. I just had a really hard time getting into it. And I didn't understand what was happening. It was just confusing for me. I didn't like it. And then, where's the other one? Oh, I don't know where it is. But The Brief Wondrous Life by, uh, The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wow, I really hated. And I wish I DNF'd that as well. And both of those books, Wolf Hall and that one, are both books that I hear people praise a lot. So I was surprised that I didn't like them. But that's why I finished them. Because I was like, other people love this. Also, I don't like DNFing books that often because I, I do book reviews on my Instagram. Obviously, I also do like booktube or whatever, but I feel like I can't properly review a book if I didn't give it the full shot of like reading the whole thing, if that makes sense. The next question, question five, what book do you wish you had DNFed? Like I just mentioned, I wish I DNFed Wolf Hall. I wish I DNFed um, The Brief Wonders Life of Oscar Wilde. Basically, any book I gave less than three stars, I should have just DNFed. I wish I DNFed Boomer One because I just hate Reddit. It's just like any book that I, I wish I was better at DNFing um, than I am. Question six is, do you ever reattempt to read a DNF and has this been successful for you? So 
I misunderstood this question the first time I read it and wrote my responses. I have not, I don't think, reattempted to read a DNF. The closest I'm going to get is, like I said, Middle March, which I like, put down for a while. But typically if I DNF a book, I'm not going to reread it um, or try to reread it because I, I don't know. That's a tricky one. I have not done that, and so I don't know if I would be successful at it, but... That's interesting to think about. Question seven is, what do you do with books you DNF? So most books I get from the library, so it's not that big of a deal if I DNF it. I just return it to the library. Um, books that I DNF that I own, I probably should unhaul. Um, and honestly, books that I don't like that I own, I plan on unhauling because what's the point of keeping them? Although I will say some books that I didn't like that I own, um, my partner likes or he wants to read, so I'm not going to get rid of them so that he can have that opportunity if he would like to take it. Eight is, do you choose more or less risky titles because of your stance on DNFing? And I am not sure. Um, I pick up books that sound interesting to me, so whether I've like read from the author before and it sounds really good or whether I hear someone else talk about it, sometimes I just pick up books because the cover looks pretty or the name is catchy. I don't think it really affects the books that I pick up. I do understand what they're saying, though, that like maybe if you don't DNF, you're more hesitant to pick up a book that you're not sure about because you don't want to waste your time. Um, I don't really see it that way. I will pick up, I pick up a lot of things, but I don't, my thing is like, I don't pick up books that I don't think I'll like. So maybe I pick up less risky titles. I, I will pick up something that like sounds interesting to me, but if something sounds like I won't like it, I don't read it. And that's something that I've learned about myself over the past, like, couple of years of, like, reading as an adult, um, since I've started doing those book reviews on my Instagram stories and, like, figuring out, like, actually taking the time to, like, sort out how I feel about books rather than just reading it and being like, it was good, three stars, <laughs> which is how I used to do things. I found that I'm learning a lot more about my own tastes since I'm, like, taking time to reflect on things I've read, which I never really used to do. I would be like, oh, I liked a book, or I wouldn't like a book, but I didn't, didn't really know why, I guess. I never really thought about what about that book I didn't like and put pieces together so that I wouldn't pick up things that I don't like in the future. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's <laughs> sort of how I, like, pick books that I'm going to read, I guess. Or pick books that I'm not going to read, I guess. And then, oh, the last question. It's not even a question. It's tag five book two buddies, or however many people you want. So I'm actually going to check someone else and see if they've done this. Okay, so the people I'm going to tag are Kelly at Velvet Library, because I don't think you've done this tag. I'm going to tag Jan Agaton at Jan Ag Agaton. If I'm mispronouncing your name, I apologize. People mispronounce my last name all the time, so um, I feel your pain if I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> and then I'm going to tag Victoria from a musical bookworm, because I don't think you've done this tag either. Um, and that's it. I didn't really want to think about a bunch of other people. I looked up a few other people and they've already done it. So, um, but yes, also anyone else watching this who would like to do this tag or just answer the questions in the comments down below if you don't want to film a video on it, because I would love to know. I've learned a lot about myself through this process because I always considered myself like pretty, I, I DNF stuff, but, uh, I don't actually really, I don't DNF stuff. So anyways. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post two videos every single week on bookish and lifestyle topics, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!